So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the lab that is prepare data for looker dashboards and reports. So first of all click on start lab. Meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video. Now open looker in incognito window. Now enter the wait for the page to fully load. So now enter the email in. The details here and then click on login. Now make sure to follow the video carefully because if you miss any step you will face unnecessary error. So now from here wait for the page to fully load and we have to enable the development mode. So most of you may make mistake of not enabling the development mode due to which you face error. So now click on this toggle and now wait this page will refresh and development mode has been successfully enabled. Now please pay attention to all the steps. So here we will click on explore. Now first of all we will click on develop and then quick love sprite. Now we will update the flights. So finally click on general flights. Click on it. And select FAA model. Now scroll down a bit. From here hit enter multiple times. Now in the description box of this video I have shared the resource. So just enter the task number 1. Now click on save. Now validate look ML. Now click on commit. Now from here type any message like in case you haven't subscribed to the channel. Subscribe it, commit. Click on deploy to production. Now click on looker in new tab. Just right click and open in new tab. So from here you have to. So from here click on explore. And then let's move to the task number one. As you can see, here are some modifications that the row limit should be nine, and we have to click on airport. So wait for the page to fully load. We will go step by step so that you don't face any error. Now you have to click on start from here. So make sure to click on it. Now wait for the data to load. Here we have to update the row limit. So as you can see it's 9 for me. It might be different for you too. So do check in your lab. Now wait for the data to fully load. So finally data has been loaded. Now here enter the low limit, row limit. That is 9 for me. It might be different for you. Now here. We have to wait for a moment. We have to select table visualization. In case visualization is not visible, click on the arrow on the visualization. Now match the data. As it same from the lab instruction. So first of all, run it. Now finally it's done. Now you have to match it from the lab instruction as you can see. Same Houston, Houston. Now just save as a look. And for look name, top 9 cities with most heli ports. Just select it and then click on save. So finally it's done. Now close it. Now we will update the look 2. So for look 2 again, go to the rethub. Go to the repo. Now just again save changes, validate look ML and now enter it. You can type any random message. Now here deploy to production. Now finally we will move forward to right click, open a new tab and again click on explore, wait for the page to fully load. Now here as you can see lab instruction it's again airport 
so now click on airport again click on start from here now again here there is row limit so make sure to check the row limit again from the lab instruction as it is 9 in my case again the value may update per lab so again we have to select visualization as table and the row limit as per the lab instruction now we have to make some changes so first of all as you can see we have to make changes in the airport facility type so let me zoom in so as you can see you have to just click on the gear icon and then click on pivot basically we have to create pivot and instead of clicking on the state click on the facility type don't click on state so just click on facility type so it has been set make sure the arrow is like this so now we have to click on run make sure to follow the video carefully and ignore if i make any grammatical mistake so that's okay we all are here to learn so now as you can see this is the latest data and all are same now we have to just save so copy the name from here and click on save save as a look and enter the name here now click on save now finally the look 2 has also been saved now we will update the look 3 look 3 is little bit manual so first of all select here meanwhile if you haven't joined our telegram channel do join it now replace the content as i am doing just follow the video carefully you will get full score without any issue so now commit and push now for here type the any random message and then click on commit now click on deploy to production so finally now again right click open in new tab and here we will have to make some we will have to select different data set let me show you explore we have to click on explore and as you can see here is flights not airports as you can see earlier we use airport data set now we will be using flight data set so for that click on flights explore flights click on start from here now wait for it to load so it takes some time i am making an uncut tutorial because a lot of you guys were facing issue and there are very few videos which are detailed so let me clear all your doubts in case you have any do comment down below so now here you have to click on the gear icon and add a filter so the filter will be wait a moment let me show you what is the filter filter is to greater than 10,000 so greater than 10,000 so finally it's done we have added the filter now we have to add some calculations so for that the table now first of all click on custom fields then table calculation now for the formula you can refer to this and wait a moment yes the default formatting will be percent and to up to three decimals as you can see it's done now here we have to name it so for that just carefully select percentage of flights cancelled just select the carefully name because if you miss any thing you will get there now click on save so finally it's added here now it has been added on our visualization so now we have to click on run so finally we will get this output so let me show you whether we get full output or not so as you can see it's chicago and new york washington boston here also same 
but we have to make some modifications so here on the percentage flight count cancelled percentage flights cancelled just click on that arrow it will be sorted out so basically here we have sorted the table now here we have to save this visualization so finally after sorting it now we have to save it so click again click on save as a look and then click on save so finally it's done now we don't have to make any changes for task number four just click again on the new tab explore from here select the flights again and don't click on the start from here we will do some manual steps here so for that we will refer to the lab manual and if you are still here you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe it and like the video now copy the origin from destination click on it so finally it's added here now we have to create a custom major name average miles so for that remove it you won't find it because we have to create a custom major so just click on this cross and click on add as you can see here custom major is present click on it now here some of you may make mistake may make mistake that you will paste the custom major FCG distance mile but we have to select only average distance so you can see flights average distance and for the name we have to select average distance miles now click on save now finally we have to add some filter and row limit is also here so we have to update the row limit so first of all click on settings then flights i mean filter then click on greater than it will be zero now average miles should be in should be in ascending order so click on it until you see up arrow so no row limit will be seven so update the row limit now here we have to save this visualization again so select the name first of all run it now you have to check the data is the same yes it's same so now click on gear icon save save as a look and then paste the name and then click on save so finally it's done now let's say check my progress you'll get the score if you follow the way i've done if you don't get score wait for two to three minutes and then if you still have facing error like you are unable to get the score just re redo the all the steps from the task number one and follow the video carefully now task number two and three are very easy so first of all here we will have to merge the looker results which we are creating and at last task we have to add this looks to the dashboard so wait for it now here just follow the way i am doing here we have to select city state and count code so first of all just type city and select aircraft origin city then it will be aircraft origin state and then code and flight count now just follow the way i am doing so as you can see city done state it's time to say it make sure to select aircraft origin only not any other now again these three have been done now for count so here we have to select flight counts not aircraft count okay so just follow the way i'm doing now here will limit to be 10 make sure to check the lab instruction if it asks for updated value as you can see it's showing 10 now but it may update later 
now we have added the 10 now click on run here we will be merging the now wait for the so wait for the data to load now click on gear icon now from here don't click on save just click on the merge results so now wait for the panel so now to open here a new panel will be open and here we have worked on flights there we will work on aircraft so wait for it now from here ffa model just click on the airports wait for it to load in case it hasn't loaded here we have to click on airports as you can see it's mentioned on the lab instruction so click on it now finally we have to search here state state city code state city code so finally these all have been added now we have to limit the row to 10 and then we have to run it so click on run now finally data has been loaded now here we have to click on save button so finally wait for it to get saved so now here again click on run and here we'll be creating the new dashboard and save the file so finally it's loaded as you can see the first data is chicago lrd and here also don't worry in case it shows different color main thing is data so now it's same now you have to just save it so i will show you how you will make error so now when you will click on save to dashboard some of you may make mistake like adding the dashboard name instead of look to the file while saving so if you make mistake like add a different name for the dashboard don't worry here is a way just save the title again click on new dashboard and just paste the dashboard so i repeat if you make any mistake like creating in another name for dashboard just click on new dashboard and add that look now i will share how you can add the look to the dashboard which you created make sure to follow the video carefully i intentionally did this because a lot of you are in hurry and may make mistake so now follow the way i am doing just follow the video along my voice so now when you click my folder just right click open a new tab right click open a new tab open all looks in new tab basically now here we have to add it to the dashboard which we just created right now so finally data has been loaded now we have to click on add to dashboard and we will add it to the dashboard which we just created right now so now here we have to click on shared if the dashboard is not visible now click on plane helicopters not the busiest one so here are the one mistake dashboard and one which is correct so select the correct one which we just created from the lab name again save it the last one is to be saved so finally it's saved now let's hit check my progress for this task and you'll get the score without any issue you have to save the look in the dashboard so you may make mistake like saving the visualization you make mistake of adding different name or name from dashboard to dashboard should be correct one basically i wanted to say that the dashboard name should be correct and name to be correct so in case you like the video like it and do subscribe to the channel if you need any other lab do comment down below and we'll get full score don't worry just wait for and watch we have already got just refresh the browser window and you can see the full score so finally guys we are done with the lab have a great day ahead in case you need any other tutorial you can refer to my channel let me show you here is my channel just check out the channel here are the playlist for remaining